So my talk's called Woman Hater is Gonna Hate, um, Analyzing Rap Lyrics Using Python and Beautiful Soup. Uh, I just came back from spending the summer in New York at Hacker School, and uh, New York is the home of hip hop and the home of rap. So I listened to a lot of rap over the summer, which I, I like a lot. It has a lot of rhythm. It's uh, good for dancing. Can everyone hear me okay with a microphone? Seva? Okay. Uh, but as a woman, honestly, when I start to listen to the lyrics, I'm like, uh... So here I posted an example of ASAP Rocky, a pretty popular rapper. I had to bleep out a bunch of words. Um, so I was curious, uh, as a programmer, you know, can we quantifiably measure how sexist is one rapper with respect to another? <laughs> is there some that are better or worse? How bad is it in general? So the first question I started with is, which rapper uses the B word the most? Because me, I'm sick of hearing that. Um, so what I did is I looked at Rap Genius, which is like a Wikipedia site for rap. Oh my, do I only have four seconds? Okay. Uh, which is like a Wikipedia for rap where people post rap lyrics and they're annotated as, uh, as to like, what does this particular verse mean and so on. Um, but there's no API. You're not even supposed to scrape it, but I did. Um, so what I did is I had to do screen scraping. Um, and I use Beautiful Soup, which is a library in Python. Um, I think there's more advanced things, but for myself, I wanted to start with something simple, and Beautiful Soup is very easy to just get started with. I think Scrape, you have to read a bunch of doc, and I, I was impatient. So uh, the data is, I started out by looking at 32 artists. I looked at 50 to 150 songs each. I looked at a mi mix of East Coast, West Coast, Dirty South rap, which are the kind of main currents in rap. Um, I tried to get male, female, black, white rap rappers. Um, it's pretty skewed towards male African-American rappers because that's the majority of rappers, let's be honest. Um, and the total, I got uh, 2,673 songs. I want to do more, but that's what I wanted to start with just to get an idea of what I was doing. Uh, these are the artists that I looked at. You see Drake, Little John, 50 Cent, Queen Latifah, Wu-Tang Clan, Nicki Minaj. Like, I tried to get quite a mix of like good and bad and old and new rappers and so on. Um, this will be online, so you can take a look. Uh, so step one, uh, I went to uh, Rap Genius and basically the pages look like this. For each artist, there's just a big list of songs. So I use Beautiful Soup to just essentially get the, all the list of URLs from the page. You can use it to parse the DOM and say, I, ju I just want all the links in this particular div and that's what I did. Here's ASAP Rocky with this nice face. Um, and then uh, pretty much all of those links leads to a page like this. So I said, okay, I don't care about anything except the lyrics, just slurp that into a string where then I can start to analyze it. Um, so step three is count them up, do some stats. Um, so what I found was rappers are using, I'm going to call it the B word, on average twice per song. Like what is up with that? Um, and so it's used about 5,000 times over 2,000 songs, like too much. Um, so the best rappers were, uh, you see some, some surprising ones were Jay-Z, Kanye, Wu-Tang, which I didn't expect to be, they use them less than once per song. Um, the, a lot of women are in that category, a lot of socially conscious rappers like uh, Talib Kweli, Dead Prez, Immortal Technique, don't use it that much, which is good, right? Um, so, so, you had uh, rappers like uh, Biggie Small, 50 Cent, 2 Chains, Ludacris. I was very surprised by Biggie and Eminem, and I'll talk about them more in a second. Pretty bad, Lil Wayne, Lil Kim, uh, Tiga, Snoop Dogg. Um, I was surprised by the women are actually in the worst. Uh, Nicki Minaj, I expected to let down humanity, which she did. Um, that's pretty much what I, th and then Lil John gets his own category. <laughs> Cause he was the worst, 10 times per song, approximately, 10 times. Like you learn some new words, Lil John. Um, so the question is, is this a good metric of sexism in lyrics? And it turns out the artists like Biggie Spall and Eminem that have very violent lyrics about murdering women, kidnapping them, assaulting them, uh, mugging them, they score relatively low. Like Eminem, I think, was about twice per song, and Biggie Small was three times per song. So um, why would that be? So just look, I, so I thought, okay, let's just actually delve into the lyrics. And someone like Little John, this is the kind of thing that he says, and he's just a bit kind of not super articulate, like just, he just kind of swears a lot. Whereas Biggie Small, I'm not even going to say that stuff out loud. Um, and to think about this, Biggie and Eminem, they're kind of recognized amongst the greatest rappers of all time. They're kind of the greats of rap, they're very lyrically clever. Little John, not so much. Um, and so it seems like Biggie and Eminem, they just have a lot more vocabulary to describe worse things, really. Um, so it suggests that the usage of the B word turns out to be not the best metric. Like, we, we have to refine this a bit more. Um, so further work, what's a better marker for sexism? Is it another word? Um, some people that, like, do research in this field suggested that um, 
you have to look at groupings of word, related words around certain terms. Um, I am actually planning on submitting a proposal to PyCon uh, in a more extended version of this talk, because I, I, I analyzed other words, other relationships, I just didn't have time in five minutes to talk about them. And you can soon see the code on GitHub, uh, soon when I've cleaned it up, because it's pretty, it's pretty dirty itself, honestly. Um, and that's my GitHub right there. And uh, I just wanted to leave you with not all rap is like this, and here's uh, Queen Latifah actually talking about this particular issue in rap, which you can just read for a sec. So thank you very much.